New at 530, a Little Rock apartment complex served a lawsuit by the Arkansas Attorney General who says the conditions at Big Country Chateau are essentially unlivable. And this comes on the same day city crews conducted a second inspection of the property. Yeah, our Andrew Epperson has been covering this controversy since those living at the complex were told a month ago that their water and electricity would be shut off. He joins us live with more on the lawsuit and reaction following yet another inspection. Andrew. He yeah, adds a second inspection, as both of you said. Attorney General Leslie Rutledge says she plans to hold Big Country Chateau and its parent company accountable for this. People who live here say they just want a safe living conditions and they don't want to be kicked out of their homes. A Wednesday morning inspection. The second in the last few weeks here at Big Country Chateau in Little Rock. The water, the light, and the gas. This woman's lived here for nine years. They fixed everything in my apartment. Yeah, the top, the dead boat. City crews checked to see if management had fixed hundreds of issues documented in the first inspection. I'd say we're around 90, 95%. This manager asked to not be identified, but he spoke to me over the phone. He says most of the problems are resolved now, but some will take more time. People were telling us stuff that's wrong with their apartments. And so until you know something's wrong, you can't fix it. So now that we do know there's issues, then we're trying to fix those issues. He hopes the inspection buys more time. Because we have proven that we are willing to do whatever we got to do to get everything up to the cold. We don't want just up the cold. We want it to be better than cold. But time might be running out. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Thank Wednesday, you. Attorney General Leslie Rutledge announcing a lawsuit's being filed against Big Country and its parent company, Apex, saying they violated Arkansas's Deceptive Trade Practices Act. Our neighbors, people who have children who go to our local schools, were living in what I would consider and what you would consider absolutely unlivable conditions. Rutledge says Big Country pocketed the money tenants paid for utilities and neglected to pay for water and electric. The penalties could be significant. That's $10,000 per violation. There are 151 units at Big Country Chateau. So for those of you all non-math majors like me, that's $1.5 million. People living here say they've lived with many of these problems for years. Some say they've been assured changes are coming. Now we wait to see what that means for the complex and its residents. I reached out to Apex, but I have not heard back this afternoon. That manager that you just heard from tells me the electric bill has been completely paid by this point. Now, the water bill has been partly paid, and there is a plan in place to pay off the rest. Just needs a couple of signatures. Live in Little Rock, Andrew Epperson, Fox 16 News.